Yep. Okay. Let me see if I can zoom out here. Okay, that's as zoomed out as I get. I'm ready to go. <clears throat> I'm ready to cut the sucker. As you can see, I've done some uh, some taping off so that I can uh, not cut that <laughs> when I uh, you know, I cut it. I I'm looking for uh, a not universality. I'm uh, looking for the same shape on each side. Um, so I've more or less. I don't know if you, I, screen makes it look like it's a little bit curved here, but um, so from one side to this side, it's all the same distance, all the way down, right? Same thing between here and this top edge. And the same thing here and here and all the other stuff. My only head scratcher was how to do these curves exactly the same on both sides. I could have um, you know, cut one out and then mirrored it on the other side, but I'm not that, uh, that patient, so what I did was this. That's my little mark slot. I've got a pipe cleaner, and distance doesn't matter as long as it's the same on each side. Um, I more or less just held uh, the uh, pipe cleaner and swung it down through the arc. And I'm not holding the uh, other side, so it's not a perfect arc. But this is what I'm looking at right there. And then all of this. Oops on both sides. Um, and I may end up smoothing out this curve just a little bit once I oops, once I once I cut it out, but this is the area that's going away. There we go. On both sides. That. That's what's going away. There we go. So enough for now, and I'll start the cutting. And that's what I've got. So you can see how thin this material is. It's perfectly capable of supporting itself, so it's not bad, but there we go. So there's one piece. Again, I may, I may do some work in here to kind of, well, who knows, maybe. And there's this. All right. so. What I'm going to be doing at some point is uh, putting a layer of, uh, of mesh behind this. I'm not going to use the, uh, the standard 12 or 16 or whatever it is, slat MGA kind of a grill, and instead I'm going to use the stainless steel mesh that I've seen that I think looks friggin' beautiful. That's a marker, not a, not a cut. Let's see if I can get that off. Yeah. Anyway, and I'm going to match this grill with what I've got on. Or my, what my idea is. I'm also going to do something that I've got on my car here, and it's this kind of inset. Not quite that deep, maybe an inch. I'll be damned, it's flurrying. Um, but, uh, you know, this kind of an inset. So I've got to build up a couple layers behind the, uh, the, the level of that damn thing, and, uh, and to that is what I'll attach that grill piece to. So that is next. And I'll put basically that on the there. Close the garage door. And here comes a part I really, really enjoy, and that's fiberglassing. And I need to see if I have any. <laughs> All right, so this is what I'm doing now. Uh, I've cut out a, uh, 
an inch or so, I guess, maybe, of uh, a fiberglass mat out of my roll there. That's marine grade, and it's thick and very, very easy to work with. Uh, it's pretty handy stuff. And what I'm going to do is layer upon layer upon layer. Um, I guess in retrospect, I could have done this before I cut out those shapes, but it you know, would have helped myself or made it easier perhaps, but, you know, well. Um, and I'm going to build up a sandwich, and that will be that. And then once it's done, it'll, it'll cure in 20 minutes, but I'll, uh, I'll turn it back over and, uh, and uh, trim out the excess I don't need. Okay. Well, I'm done. Well, sort of done for the evening anyway. I, want to put a, I may want to put a few more layers on there, but... Um, oh, it only weighs like a thousand pounds more. Uh, this is still curing, so it looks ugly as hell. Uh, it looks like pudding almost. But I've got about half an inch or so of depth, and that's pretty much what I wanted. Um, all this stuff in the center, I didn't even make an attempt to make that uh, you know, fiberglass out. And I'm going to smooth out this little bump here. And then uh, that's that. The heat that comes off this thing is amazing. This is an exothermic process. So it's quite the, quite the trip. Before it was really, really warm course. Like I say, I'm going to uh, let this cure overnight and see if I want to add more. There you go. Let's see how it looks on the other side. God, this thing weighs a ton. Not a ton, but all right. Yeah, good. A lot of good penetration on the edges, that's exactly what I wanted. And I'll trim that out so there's depth to it, and I'll come back. Uh, it's more or less done. I have done some, uh, some sawing, I've done some... Uh, there we go. Some sawing, some grinding, some leveling. Um, let me see. This is what I built, and it, I didn't anticipate it would be this thick, not to my mind, but, so here's how, Ugh. I've got some more work to do, I'm not done, but I've got to kind of even things out, and here's how it'll look. Okay, so i got some work in there to do. This is just about exactly, definitely some work in there to do. You file that down. And not bad. It doesn't weigh much now that those other pieces are out. And on the back, like I said, I'm gonna put that screen. This is pretty, huh, it's not, uh, not bad, not bad at all. Yeah.